as I turn in, on my right, there is a clear red light, but no solid line. So that does not apply to me. And you can see the traffic behind me, they're all coming through. So there's a green light here. And then, the, and then the second set of traffic lights looks like they're not working, but in fact, they're green. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon and today's video is all about traffic lights. Now last week I posted a video with Erin on her driving lesson where she stopped at a red light and I was telling her to continue through. Now that did cause a lot of confusion in the comments because there were learner drivers and experienced drivers questioning what we needed to do, who that traffic light was for and how to avoid situations like that on your test. It was even picked up by various news articles where people just weren't sure whether or not we were meant to stop there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to approach junctions like that and avoid making any mistakes. If you guys enjoy watching my content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. Lots of love for this one. I don't really know how to do this one. I'm old school. <laughs> So a quick golden rule when it comes to dealing with red lights like this is never stop for a red light where there's no solid line on the floor. It means you're already in the junction and that traffic light doesn't apply to you. The only exception to this would be temporary roadworks where they don't paint the white line, but they put that red signboard which says stop here. So we're gonna get started. So this is the junction approaching now. I'm gonna make a right turn. And this is where we see the red light as we turn in. So right now I've got a green light and we're gonna slowly move in time. He's just not moving. What's going on? Give him a little hoot, but there you go. He's go. Oh, now the lights go red. I don't know why the man just didn't move. Okay, well now we're the first car. So from here, I can already see the traffic light where Erin stopped, so it's to my right. So when my traffic lights go green here, everyone on the main road will have a red light. Now I do have a van behind me as I make this turn, and if I end up stopping in the middle like Erin did, the van could easily crash into the back of my car because they're not expecting to stop. So I'm moving off at green lights, and as soon as I turn in, on my right, there is a clear red light but no solid line so that does not apply to me and you can see the traffic behind me they're all coming through this here is a separate traffic light which you can see clearly with the line on the floor so i'm approaching that same junction from a different angle now when you're approaching junctions like this sometimes you get two traffic lights very close together and on the second set of traffic lights you'll get these louvers which are on the amber and on the green so that you don't see the green from far away and don't actually try and move through red so i'll show you this because it's on the next junction as we go forward so i'm now going to make a right turn at this junction and you can already see them from here actually so here we've got an example of two traffic lights very close together and on the second set of traffic lights you've got the louvers on the amber and the green so I can't actually see them from this position but I can see the red. So if I was to move through this junction but I go, go forward up there and it's still red I can still stop because there's a solid line. So I'm going to make a right turn here and you can see the solid line clearly here. And I'm going to go into position behind this black car but I'm not going to be able to go into the middle just yet. So now that I'm in the junction, even if the traffic light ahead goes red, I need to clear the space, provided the road ahead is clear. So I'm going to go forward and the light is going red and I'm going to clear the junction. And here we are. So now along this road, I've got a series of traffic lights, one after the other. So here we've got the solid line, which is where I've stopped, and I can see the traffic light present ahead. And at that point, there's no solid line, so the junction's quite wide. So you'll see the van's turning in from the side road, and he can see the red light, and again, he will not stop there because he's in the junction. So as I move forward, there's actually two traffic lights very close together again, so you get to see the example of the um, louvers again. So there's a green light here, and then, the, and then the second set of traffic lights looks like they're not working, but in fact, they're green. But if they were red, I could see it from far away because the red is not covered. So 
again, this goes back to our golden rule. When you've got a traffic light on either side and a solid line, you stop there. But if you've got a traffic light, but no solid line, don't stop unless it's temporary roadworks. So I'm making a right turn here. You can see in the new road, the bus is now stopped at a second set of traffic lights and then the lorry is overhanging the junction because of this. So this is where um, sometimes people would say that the road's been designed badly, but actually um, they have to put the traffic light there because pedestrians, if that traffic light was any further, they usually just cross the road where, you know, they can find it convenient. So that's why they have to put the junction there. So the crossing there. As you can see, there's a lot going on. And as I'm turning right at this junction, I'm also watching the traffic ahead. Provided there's no one ahead, I can turn in. So lights are green, we move forward. Black car in front is not moving. So I'm turning and as I'm turning, red light here and then a green light. But if there, somebody had pressed the uh, button for the pedestrians, then that would also be red as I turn in. So this time I'm gonna make a right turn in here. So going forward, lights are green, I can see the arrows painted, so I'm going to travel up, doing an offside turn with the traffic opposite, go up to about my arrow, there we go, I can see it's clear behind him, so I'm going to make this turn, and here we are. So I'm approaching the traffic lights to make another right turn. I feel like the road marking's completely faded here, <laughs> couldn't actually see my stop line. So I'm turning right, so I'm going to go for a really wide turn and wait in the middle because this van is there and as I turn in I'm going to go into the left hand lane. Now this traffic light is for me because there is a clear solid line and now it's green I can move on through and you can see this traffic light changed at the exact same time because it was for me but just slightly further and that's the one that Erin stopped at. So that's who the traffic light was for. So you'll always see the traffic light either side, solid line, and then you have the repeat traffic light, which is slightly further. Now, if this changes to red, I do not stop as I'm in the junction. And again, same here, traffic light either side, stop line. But this is a separate traffic light because there is a solid line on this one. But again, it was green and I can see it when I'm closer. And that's where you've got the um, louvers I was talking about earlier the little blinds on the uh, amber and red. Okay, lights go green. So as I turn in, this light will always be red and the pedestrians, well, they wait until the road is safe to cross. But if they're already in the road, then obviously I would wait for them. So on the right hand side is where Erin stopped when she noticed the red light. As you can see, there is no solid line, so that means that that traffic light does not apply to you as you're continuing through. And in terms of the pedestrians, they simply look either way to cross the road safely. There is no yellow box on the traffic lights for them to be able to wait for a green man, as there is no pedestrian crossing. So they simply wait to cross the road safely. Now from this angle, you can see the traffic light starts changing to red and the traffic that's already in the junction has to continue through. So there's no solid line telling them they need to wait here. The only time you would need to stop at this point is if a pedestrian steps out in front of you and it's not safe to continue. All right, guys, I hope you have found those demonstrations to be useful and I hope I've answered any of the questions that you may have had when it comes to dealing with traffic light junctions. So remember that golden rule, don't stop for a red light where there's no solid line because that means that that traffic light does not apply to you at that point as you're in the junction. And the only exception is when you're stopping for temporary roadworks. So that is it guys, that is the end of today's video. Hope you have found that useful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like watching this content. Comment down below and subscribe. Select that bell icon so that you get a notification. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys.